Kamlesh from Plugin India. We have uh, another exciting e-bike kit to review, and today we are reviewing an e-bike kit called E-Addict, a Pune-based company. They have launched their kit a month or so back, and uh, I have been interacting with the founders, uh, uh, Mr. Tejas from E-Addict. They have been working on this kit uh, for almost two years, uh, refining the kit and uh, trying to get the perfect ride quality. Uh, and the right components uh, so uh, this is a very interesting company that has launched a kit that is uh, very different compared to what we have in the Indian e-bike market I'll tell you the differences soon so just, I have fit the kit on uh, on my phantom cycle a normal cycle with a single speed gear system uh, like the light speed kit we reviewed a month back uh, the Erect kit uh, has an integrated bottle shaped battery and uh, it's a very nice form factor very similar if you look at the battery indicator the power state of charge indicator it's all very similar to the uh, light speed uh, battery and it has an integrated controller so you have the battery and the controller here and uh, they have some branding here which looks nice eric india it says eric india and uh, very similar to open the battery you just need to twist the key and take it out so again a very good form factor of the battery which i like uh, again that again makes things very nice and balanced you don't have messy batteries in the back side everything is nice and balanced so beautiful i like that uh, and next important component is the motor which usually resides in the back wheel but hey there's no motor here so in the case of eric kit the motor is to be attached on the front wheel so this is the difference between the kits what we have tried and what uh, eric is providing and uh, this is a very interesting design decision taken by Edek. So this is, this, the kit comes with a black color 250 watt motor. This is a 36 volt 250 watt motor, just like what we have seen in the light speed kit. And it also comes with thick spokes. The spokes here are of good quality. So you get the rim, a double Y alloy rim, and uh, the rim is of a very light material. And also you have some Edek branding on the rim, so that identifies it as a Edek rim. And also you have very good quality spokes. I don't see any loose spokes. Here I don't see any bent spokes so I think this is a very good quality spokes and nipples is being used here with the rim by Edict and the motor also has a little bit of branding which says Edict India so so um, this is uh, you get you get the entire rim with the so it's very easy to install the kit on your cycle so take out your rim replace the rim fit in your tires and you're good to go so that is the cool part about having a motor placed in your front wheel so you don't have to uh, worry about uh, your gears here, your, if you have a 21 speed gear system, this is a single speed gear so it's easy but if you have a 21 speed gear system you don't have to worry about uh, you know uh, fitting the motor, get, getting it, uh, fitting the motor back and fitting in the gears and the disc brakes. So this becomes very nice and easy. Okay. So the first benefit of uh, placing your motor in the front is that uh, it becomes an all-wheel drive because uh, when you pedal your uh, rear drivetrain is activated and then your front motor is also working that adds great traction on the road the next advantage is that it keeps your rear wheel clean it appears as if it's just a normal cycle with uh, nothing being done at the, in, at the back so very easy to install and less worries so the some of the cons some of the native aspects of uh, including a motor in the front wheel is that there, there can be traction problems at low speeds uh, once you pick up speed, it's not an issue. But your uh, your handle tends to be a bit heavier. So if I lift this cycle, I'm struggling to lift it because the motor is adding weight. Uh, usually I can lift this in one hand, but now this is not so easy. So it adds a bit of weight and it does feel a bit heavy uh, when you move your handle around like this. But uh, but then uh, when you ride, when you once you start riding, when, you, when the pedal assist gets going, you don't feel that uh, weight at all. 
the front uh, wheel needs to be set up properly and ensure that everything is tight and kept proper because uh, if there are some cycles which uh, where you can release the front wheel very easily and if that something is loose then it's a problem if you while riding an e-bike so uh, also having a motor at the front uh, with high powered motors is not recommended it's recommended if so above 500 watts motors it's always recommended to keep them at the rear but in this case this is a 250 watt motor so there's no such issue here uh, so that's about the front uh, motor design of the e kit uh, it it seemed strange to me especially when i tried to lift the handle it was uh, it felt a bit strange but once i started riding it i liked the uh, traction that the all wheel ride all wheel drive provides so uh, that is something that I really like. Okay, so now coming to the pedal assist sensor. So they have a pedal assist sensor which is right here. Uh, if you can see right here. This is a 12 magnet sensor. So that is another interesting thing about the Eric kit. It is not a uh, 8 magnet sensor like other kits we have seen. The Keren sensor has 12 magnets. That means that there is more sensitivity with which it can record the speed and then send the data to the controller. The Keren feels more res responsive. The pedal assist feels more responsive. So. That is something also which is a definite plus with the Yeti kit. So if you if you are a pure cyclist and uh, you like pedaling, this will feel more natural compared to other kits which have a eight uh, magnet sensor. So Keren sensor. So thumbs up for Yeti team. Good good selection of the Keren sensor there. Um, coming to your handlebar. Uh, so it's a very basic handlebar. Uh, you have uh, brake inhibitors. The brakes this these levers come with the kit. So this is a good quality. They have good quality. They have a grip here. And they also have security uh, measures which uh, when you brake it cuts off the power to the motor just like any other kit. Um, and the same thing with the front. And uh, and then you have a L LCD. The LCD screen will be explained by a member of the Eric team, uh, Mr. Samir. Hey, go. Hi, uh, this is Samir. Uh, I'm a Eric team member. Uh, so here I'm going to explain you about the details of the LCD and what are the features of this particular uh, system. Uh, and what are things that you can configure and how, how it actually can be tuned. So this is how we start the system. Here, here you start the system. On this LCD what you see is the uh, battery indicator. Uh, how much time uh, uh, the bike has been ridden. Uh, the assist level. Uh, how many, what is the kilometers per hour. What is the speed. Currently since it's idle there is no speed out there. What is the wattage the motor is consuming, the temperature and the distance traveled till now. Okay. This is the trip meter and uh, this is the odometer. This this tells how much distance the bike has been ridden till now. This is the ambient temperature okay. and this is the average speed that uh, the bike has been ridden till now for this many kilometers. Okay. Uh, from the uh, HMI out here. Um, uh, the switches you can increase the uh, assistance level and as you wish uh, so the 5 being the maximum assistance 1 is the least assistance and 0 being the no assistance out here okay. uh, now the bike features regenerative braking as well so whenever you apply the brakes you can see the uh, brake indicator out here but when you are actually uh, pedaling and uh, you apply the brakes in your mechanical energy is conserved and it's converted into electrical energy the motor in front is actually gets uh, acts as a generator and it generates the electrical energy and it stores into the battery out here here's the controller which uh, manages the entire system okay. in the evenings when you want to have lights uh, you can uh, keep uh, uh, the upper button long press and it's going to turn on the backlight and you'll be able to uh, see the display with that. Uh, this uh, bike features a crawl mode as well uh, or walk mode that's what we can call it. Uh. So uh, in a stop and go traffic, traffic lights, uh, generally you would like to crawl and just uh, uh, inch uh, ahead. So this inch mode or crawl mode you can keep the lower uh, switch pressed and it's going to take you into a crawl mode. This is how it actually goes. Hello everyone. My name is Tanish. I'm from Eadic Mobility Solutions. So today I'm going to show you how to use walk mode on this electric cycle. Okay, what is walk mode? Walk mode is like when uh, when you when you press a button, yeah. it goes the the motor the motor automatically goes in front. Okay. We, uh, you we you don't have to do anything. Okay, can you show me? 
So, I just, so what should you do here? So over here, long press this button. Okay. And it will go in front. You see, I wasn't doing anything. Okay. I, I was just pressing. Okay, and then you, you have to keep holding it? Yeah. Show if me once. If you want to do it continuously? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very cool. It takes less effort now yeah. to push the cycle. Yes. So if you want to push the cycle, you use walk mode. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, Tanish, for this yeah. demo. You're welcome. The e kit does not come with a light. Um, it has a provision for uh, a throttle. And the most important thing, there is no throttle. No accelerator provided. So the company... The people at the company, Eric, they want you to cycle, they want you to pedal and they want you to use the pedal assist uh, which makes total sense and uh, they are not giving you throttle and the throttle is a separate accessory which you need to buy uh, and they, they provide a thumb throttle so if you if you want to buy a thumb throttle they will provide it to you but at, at an extra cost so this is about the Eric kit uh, the price is around 32,999 uh, is the MRP of this kit which has the LCD screen here and there's another uh, kit which has a LED kit, LED screen, and that is 29,999. So this is the Yeri kit, the new kit, new kit on the block. Uh, I will now try to get some uh, user feedback and also try to show you some shots of me riding the bike with this kit, and hopefully you get an idea of how it performs and uh, how it feels. Okay, here we are in beautiful Sin Society of Pune Aund, and uh, here I am with the Yeri e-bike, and. Uh, what I want to show you is what I want to show you is how responsive the pedal assist system of the Yerik uh, kit is. There. So, so, the, so the moment I start pedaling, it the pedal assist kicks in and the response is instant. And uh, and the, uh, it, the pedal assist feels most natural compared to many other kits we've experienced. Uh, the pedal assist in the Yerik kit is extremely well tuned and feels so natural. Uh, it's one of the better pedal assist systems uh, in the Indian e-bike market currently. Uh, they've used 12 magnet pedal assist sensors and uh, everything feels responsive. And, uh, it's, it's, uh, every cyclist loves the pedal assist system of the uh, of the e-erect kit.